Gohan, how are your studies going? Uh, okay, I guess. You lost a lot of ground during your little excursion to Namek. We've got to get you caught up. Yeah, but I've been studying so much. I don't think I can cram anything else in. Oh, all right then. Fine. You can run outside for a breather, but make sure you don't take too long. Got it? <sighs> Thanks, Mom. I'll be back soon. Yes, soon. Understand? Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. to notice there's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that this can't be good do you really think it's Frieza well sure seems like it they'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels they have scouters after all the Namekians already lowered his at least one of you is smart Piccolo they're here Over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. Uh, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes! So, this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. ...by any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The Mysterious Savior from the Future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. 
Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Possible. Those two huge powers, they're both gone. What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. him isn't it keep your guard up we don't know who we're up against right i'm gonna head over there and wait for goku you're more than welcome to join me what? 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 how does he know about my dad he's gonna show up right over there if you're coming then follow me so what do we do Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Um... So, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... 
Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. know I was gonna be here this young man here clued us in who is he y you mean you don't know who this is at all nope never seen him before that reminds me who took care of Frieza and the others that was some crazy energy we've got him to thank for that as well he made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan a Super Saiyan Goku I need to speak with you in private if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. Yeah. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, 
It's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please... Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah. When I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks! Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes. She's right over there. Whoa! The Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's got to be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta, of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well... I, uh, might never be born. 
Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the android. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot! You may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, 
So I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Wanna train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! Alright, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Chi-Chi! I'm home! Hi, Mom! G Goku! H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me! You look like you've been doing pretty good! You had me so worried! Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. H hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important! Nothing's more important than that! What? You don't believe that, right? Come on! Let Gohan train with me! Ugh, fine! This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-Chi... But in three years, he's done with all this fighting! You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami! Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies. But would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Want to come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Uh, don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls.
Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Hey! Goku! Yajirobe! What's up? Let me guess. You need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Y shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm. I guess you have a point. Man, this guy's so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corrin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. I got what you wanted. Awesome. I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, Corrin, look. I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop. You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Huh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay! Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold it. Not bad. That's more like it. Come on, go for it. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs>
Stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So... This is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? Hey there! You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for ya. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! Don't underestimate him! Out of my face! Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate him!
I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta? What are you doing? Shut up, woman! Leave me be! Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans! See, there's just no getting through to you, is there? You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Damn that woman! This is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot, which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn, that blasted woman? What the hell is her problem? myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You... you really know how to piss me off! Oh, come on! I was just messing around with you! More! Huh? You're right, it wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent! Uh, 
Don't you take that tone with me! I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids! You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, I will surpass you! Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one! Hey, Chi Chi! We're back! Hi, Mom! Man! We really worked up a sweat today! Goku! Do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi! But can it wait? I'm starving! Don't you? I'm starving me! I got a bone to pick with you! Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car! And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license! You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? What do I have to? The next day, after catching an earful from Chi Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo! Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? Remember, safety first, okay? Hey, not too bad. This, this isn't putting safety first! We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. No, 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 no! Great! 
Don't forget about safety! We should be able to make it, right? Man, this feels great! Woohoo! No, 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 no! Hey, not too bad. This isn't putting safety first! Uh-oh! I really screwed that up! Don't forget about safety! I bet this thing can go even faster! Was that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my! All right, looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo. Oh wow, who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. W wait, I said wait. A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Uh, excuse me? With pleasure. <laughs> what? It's on, Goku. Oh, yeah, Piccolo? <laughs> Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo, no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so... so you... you didn't actually pass the test? W well, at, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Hey, you... you! Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah! <laughs> Mom? Whoa, Chi-Chi! You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea! Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that! Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need. And I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. 
Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent! Thanks a lot, Bulma! Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life! I'm home, Chi Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials. I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh, yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh... Yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch! It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes, is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging ya. Mm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien, Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him already? Yep, if that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet. I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh. You try to be nice to people. Goku, a rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you, and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here, but it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well... Perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training on you is that all shoot i'd do that for free <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe here i come Yeah! 
You never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough. But learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Oh, you have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Hey! I'm so glad you're back! Well, did you find Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me. I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. If I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease, then. Whoops! You didn't hear that from me! <laughs> just you wait, Captain. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me! That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off! <laughs> Uh, it's probably nothing. Hey Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks. 
the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. That's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who are caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Y Yamcha! Yamcha still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would see. You also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So... Before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giroux remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giroux himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giroux is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh yeah? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. He absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! <sighs> absorb the attacks? <clears throat> Give me a break! <sighs> what, what's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man. I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me. Not some junk puppets like you! Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Go on! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me. Are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I yearn for nothing more than greater power, than train the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well... Let's do this! Ooh, ho, 
I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going to do it! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. calling your comrades now your energy will be all mine go, go on androids get over here uh, uh, mr piccolo over there <laughs> you're as good as dead <laughs> <laughs> How did they find me? <sighs> Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, get Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. Eliminate! Don't! Don't! 
Just a weakling like you hope to accomplish. the androids I know what's going on if it's not them who is everyone fighting uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much I have made a grave miscalculation I have no choice but to return to my lab Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So... Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, 
That creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Giroux. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? You mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know what Dr. Giroux's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giroux's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Android 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. <laughs> Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. It's close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've 
never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah. But uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> Hmm. All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. But where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well... That's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about that! <clears throat> How dare they! How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen, because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe... I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once! Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, Sixteen. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and Eighteen are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. How do I guess since you're an android, you're not don't underestimate me! Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. Don't underestimate me! Out of my face! Let's go! Don't underestimate me! You had this much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either. Dare you! To make ya! Good time! Big bang! Ha! Don't underestimate me! Yeah. 
Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But... aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <gasps> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the Sensu Beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan. Regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house. Then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, 
but if either of them dies separately, well, then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Right. We'll... Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi-Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi-Chi. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! All right! It's all packed up! Now we just wait for Gohan! There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did... did something happen? We'll tell you on the way! Just get in! Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's going to be more fun this way. <sighs> You know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin.
But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. You're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it... doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku and the others fought, were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible. This thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh, wait. What's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh, hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? so confused. And the mysteries just keep piling up.
Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight... Bio-Android Fiend from the future. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am... Would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo, for I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So? If we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, Kami! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. <laughs> Farewell, Kami. <laughs> Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. <sighs> Decided to show your face, monster?
<laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature. And Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome, DJ. Look at that. You're a terrifying monster. Although I still have yet to achieve my perfect form. Perfect form? You're attacking people to achieve your perfect form? I turn their essence into energy. And that energy makes me stronger. Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? 
Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to... that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Drunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this, Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo?
talk. What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here, too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. Ah, oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them! Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan! Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks! Thanks. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Android 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right, but sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot, at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck. Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? 
afraid so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Goku! Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi-Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. Oh, we're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah, but how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train, too. You're going to fight? No way! You're in no shape to fight! You need more rest! Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Though I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels. Don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait, no one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously, come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, 
Two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go in with trunks. Fine. But we're going in first. Got it. Sure. So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably gonna take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe. And the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey! You did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Come at me full force. Don't hold back. Back up. Face! as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm... not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way. For you, Android 17 and 18. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> and then I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> soon, soon I will be complete. <laughs> Almost a full day had passed since Vegeta and Trunks had entered the hyperbolic time chamber. The world is gripped with fear as the death toll has now reached several hundreds of thousands. There's no way that we're gonna find him. There's too many places for him to hide, you know? We're running out of time. Cell's powered himself up quite a bit already. Well, we might have to rely on Goku and the others for this. Let's just hope they can go beyond Super Saiyan. Hmm? What? Hey. Cell's fearsome evolution. Damn it. Why did it have to be now? So, is Goku here? He wasn't back at his place. So, we thought he might be hiding here. Just beat it, would you? You're not going to find Goku here. Oh. 
Then tell us where we can find him. Do you honestly think we are just going to tell you? Your choice. You can either tell us, or we can make you. Fine by me. There's a deserted island not too far from here. We'll settle it there. Man, you guys aren't making this easy on yourselves. Sorry, but you're going to stay right here. You'd only be getting in the way. Get What, got nothing to say? I'll just have to kill you then. Fine. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, come at me already. What, you're the only one that's gonna fight? Of course. Why not? I'm more than enough to handle you. This could work. If I can scrap even just Android 17, Cell won't get his perfect body. Let's go! might be evenly matched in power, but when it comes to stamina, you've lost. I've got infinite energy reserves, after all. Cell! <laughs> Damn it! I was so focused on the fight, I didn't realize he was on his way here! I'm so pleased that this day has finally come! The day I absorb Android 17 and 18 will be the day I achieve my ultimate form! What? You powered yourself up this much? Damn it. Just how many victims have you gone through? Victims? That is such a short-sighted perspective. I prefer to call them donors. They're the ones I have to thank for my power, after all. Get out of here right now! He's going to absorb you, Seventeen! What? Absorb me? What are you talking about? I'll make it simple. That there is Cell. A monster that was created by Dr. Giroux's computer. But apparently is incomplete and needs to absorb you and Eighteen to achieve his final form. What? Rejoice, my fellow androids. Once I have absorbed you, your energy will feed my rise to true perfection. I will finally evolve into what Dr. Giroux spent his life trying to achieve. The ultimate warrior! What are you talking about? You're looking at the ultimate warrior right here. Whether you desire it or not is irrelevant. You will be absorbed all the same. Having trouble shutting that mouth? Here, let me help. No! Get out of here, 17! The enemy's power level far exceeds your own. <laughs> Jeez. You finally start talking. And you're just telling me to run away? Give me a break! Damn it!
Uh, you're kidding me. Self power level is through the roof! That's it, isn't it? It's over. There's nothing we can do now. Krillin! Bomber's on the phone! Hello, Krillin? I figured it out! I know how to take the androids down! Wh really? Yeah! Androids 17 and 18 are equipped with emergency shutdown circuits. If you can activate those to immobilize them, they'll be sitting ducks! And I've already made a remote control that can do that! Ah, thanks, Bulma. Can you bring that thing here? One step ahead of you. I'm already on my way and I'll be there soon. Awesome, you're the best! I'm going to go help Piccolo. I might not be able to do much, but it's better than doing nothing here. Eh. No, Tien! Wait! Come back! There's nothing I can do. I feel so powerless. I sure do miss the days of being the world's greatest martial artist. So this is the remote control, huh? Remember, you need to be within about 10 yards for it to work. And that's not all. I've prepared battle outfits like Vegeta's for everyone. Goku and the guys could use those. They're at Kami's lookout. Could you take them there? Sure thing. Good luck, Krillin. Make sure you blow those androids to pieces. Blow them to pieces? Huh. <laughs> this freak's more powerful than I thought. You bore me. Are we done playing around? He did that with just one attack? I can't believe it. He's just too powerful. There's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. Maybe. Maybe we should try to get out of here while we can. You should leave. I will stay and destroy Cell. Stay behind and destroy Cell? Are you crazy? He'll kill you in an instant! You are good people. You did not harm innocent humans or animals. I have enjoyed our time together. So, Sixteen was hiding this kind of power all along. No! You must leave this place. Hurry! He is still alive! 
You're joking, right? I'm not just gonna run away without giving that monster his just desserts. If anyone's gonna finish you off, it's me. Come on, show yourself! J Looking for me? Here I am. No! No! <laughs> Eighteen. This is bad. I'm sorry, Chatsu. I might not survive this. You're a fool if you think I'm just going to let you get away. My speed is even more impressive than I thought was possible, and I have Android 17 to thank for it. He wasn't a waste after all. Now, let's check my power, shall we? Sixteen! Don't worry, Android 18. I haven't forgotten about you. It's time to create perfection! Neo Tri Beam! Ha! What are you doing? Get out of here! Ha! 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 Tien! That's enough! You must stop this now! You're gonna die if you keep firing tri-beams, Tien! Give up before it's too late and get out of there! <laughs> Fools! I will not be stopped by a weak, pathetic fool like Tien! Goku. So you're Cell. Wait! That energy! Piccolo's still alive! I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm not letting you get away! This is serious energy! <laughs> <laughs> that fast there's no way around it I'm no match for you I know that but give me just one day 
to it, and I'll give you a good fight. I promise you that. <laughs> You've got to be joking. What do you think that you could possibly accomplish in just one day? You've got to hang in there for me, you two. I'll get you guys some sensu beans once we're back at Kami's lookout. Leaving so soon? I don't think... He's, he's gone. That's an interesting technique Goku was using. When did he learn that, I wonder? No matter. As soon as I get my hands on Android 18, he will be of no concern. Now that pile of scrap 16 and her couldn't have gotten very far. Cell has reached untouchable levels of power. Nothing can stop him now. Hey! Everyone! Vegeta and Trunks are coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber! Really? Hey, everyone. Sorry for the wait. My father broke through the Super Saiyan barrier in about two months. But he still wouldn't... Trunks, that's enough now. Sounds like you did it, Vegeta. You could say that. You can go in next if you want to. But it would only be a waste of your time. I'm more than enough to clean up this mess. Cell and the androids don't stand a chance. Well, I went down and fought Cell myself. He's super strong now. A real monster. <laughs> there you are. Krillin said you'd all be here. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? Trunks, is that you? Uh, yes. What's with your hair? Are you wearing a wig or something? There's... There's this room here, where one year passes inside, while just one day passes out here. Father and I were training in there. Oh... What the hell are you doing here, Bulma? Here. Vegeta's battle suit has great defensive properties. So... I made some for everyone. Whoa! This stuff's a lot lighter than it looks! Did you not hear me, Kakarot? Your services aren't required. Because you're gonna beat Cell, right? I heard ya. That's fine by me. Alright, Gohan. Time for some quality father-son training! Right! Training to surpass Super Saiyan. It's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy. And it's so hot I can barely breathe. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first, we're gonna make you a Super Saiyan. Me? A, a Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes. Of course you do. Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body. All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first, but don't get me wrong. I'm planning on going completely be- I've got plans for you, too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? Me? Stronger than you? Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man. I... I hope I can. <laughs> Relax! It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up! This may be just a warm up, but don't go easy on it, okay? Okay! Throw, go on! You got more in you! Not done yet! Yeah! <laughs> 
think so? body felt like it was doing more than just heating up. It's really hard to fight in a place like this. It is. But your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? Yeah. is raising your energy. That's not enough. You need to get angry to become a Super Saiyan. Get angry! Let out all your rage! I'm trying. I can't get angry, though. It's not gonna come to you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. R right. All right, time to go. I'm coming too. Very well. Hmm. I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. You're Vegeta! So, you're Cell. That's... Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb! Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. <laughs> I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, 
Amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids! They were here the whole time?! Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they?! I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... This can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? <laughs> of course! I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! <sighs> okay... Uh, now... Should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. This is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. Emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Boba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid cell and live your life. Why did you? Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's. Uh... If I could achieve my perfect form. Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me. At least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your mettle against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18. So she was hiding there the whole time. I'm so close to perfection, I can taste it. Father, what you're doing is wrong! We can't let him absorb 18! <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! Oh, <laughs> 
So there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a Senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. Ooh! What's this power? From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it was worth the wait! <laughs> <Face>. <laughs> 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 Don't underestimate me! Yeah. You're not giving it everything you've got, are you? You do know what the one more about me. Fight me already! Well then, let's fight. <laughs> so this is Super Vegeta, is it? What? I'll end this quickly. Garlic gun! Price on this! Big Bang! Attack! That's I feel a little more limber now. Well, now look at this. Hmm. That's so odd. It appears this gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> oh, whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell! Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin! Take my father and get him out of here! Right, you got it! <laughs> Trunks' power level is taking a massive dive! Cell's power level is through the roof! <laughs> Did he overpower Trunks? Uh, not good. Vegeta! Come on, Vegeta! Wake up! <sighs> 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 
But I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. Uh, a tournament? Let's make it mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock. That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time. And if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me. And then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness. And plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits. Destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us. Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this. Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. <sighs> Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you got. Show him. Okay. Too shabby, Gohan. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah! I'm 
really starting to learn to control your power. I think so too. Great, Gohan. You're well on your way to surpassing me. Surpassing you? That one actually hurt, Gohan. Gohan, that was incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. But, Dad, we're probably going to need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan. I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one. So I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long forgotten memory. Damn that cell. This is just a game to him? No way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait, something is different. They seem calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. 
the cell games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Go on, let's go. Oh, right! Only nine days remained until the Cell Games Tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad? Uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... 
bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. Chi-Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in! <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses! Ta-da! Finished! Oh, wow! It smells delicious! I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun. I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku, remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Oh, such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry. I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But go on, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. Hmm. What should I do now? Hey. Someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and Mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. Hi, Bulma. Is this everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh hey! What's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. <sighs> well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so... I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kinda numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? 
I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So this is an android. These things were built to kill dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm. Almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here. <laughs> Voila! Mm. Analyzing situation. He's online! Hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16, scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guy! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Go on. Uh, hello? Searching. Data profile found. Go on. Son of Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm, well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior! R right! So, how's that body of yours? Mm, satisfactory. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. Glad to hear that. Um, uh... Oh, so do you like animals? Affirmative. They put me at ease. I like animals too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to k kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said he made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. Don't say that. It's the truth. Ha <laughs> ha! So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are you people? They're just folks looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we'd fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Gohan. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing.
You folks are crazier than a dog in a hubcap factory! Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are Sixteen and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational, thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys! I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? It's like morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android. Ha! <laughs> it was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know! Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Oh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay, sure. Oh! So, Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night, too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub. But nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Oh, oh I'm getting so embarrassed. Shortly after Gohan had returned home... We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. H how terrible! Those were innocent people! <clears throat> that monster! <clears throat> Chi-Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. <sighs> Goku! And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new Guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivor's new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dente! P Piccolo! It's been too long! Wait one sec! I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy! Let's see... What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian. 
Is that really you, Dende? It's been ages. Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, Gohan! It's great to see you two. Are, are you really going to be the new Guardian? That's right. I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes! So, would we be able to wish back multiple people, like last time? I... suppose that could be possible. I mean... I'd have to make the proper adjustments, but if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right, I'll begin right away. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? B but Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later! Everyone was focused on the fight ahead. And before they knew it, the fated day of May 26th had finally arrived. All right, time to go. Don't you dare die on me, Goku! Don't worry, I won't, Chi-Chi. And my little Gohan better not fight! What? Well, uh, um... Promise me, Goku. Promise me Gohan won't fight! Look at the time. Bye! Hey. My little Gohan's going to fight. I can feel it. There you are. It's almost time. Wait, where's Vegeta? Don't tell me. Is he in the hyperbolic time chamber again? He went on ahead of us. Gotcha. Man, he's really raring to go. Uh, yeah. Well... Whoa, why is everyone so down in the dumps? Goku, we've got some bad news. We can bring back a lot of people at once, using just one wish with the Dragon Balls. Just like before, we can't bring back anybody that's died once already. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. What? That's all? Relax, Dende. We just won't die. It's as simple as that. W won't die? Uh, you do know that we're up against Cell, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna be late. How are you this calm? You're starting to freak me out. Come on, you want to get left behind? So, are you coming too, Krillin? Uh, yeah. Only 20 minutes left until the Cell games begin and the fate of the planet is decided. Cell can be seen standing motionless in the center of the ring. The vile monster, Cell, is threatening to wipe out all of humanity. Only one man can stand against such evil. The World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan! That's right, Mr. Satan has come to save us from certain doom! Listen up there, Cell. I got you all figured out. You use a bunch of light shows and trick bombs to destroy the city and the military. But let me... Who is this clown? Vegeta, I'm surprised you've got the guts to come here and show your face. Well, looky here. You're still alive. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you've had a little bit of work done. They flew too, right? 
Just another trick, that's all. <laughs> You're finally here. I've been waiting for you, Goku. I've been waiting. The Cell Games begin. That should be everyone. Welcome! They all... they all just flew, didn't they? <laughs> I guess uh, uh, that trick's uh, pretty popular these days. Sixteen! Looks like you're back in working order! I owe you my thanks, Krillin. And you too, Gohan. Glad to see you're better now, Sixteen. Let's give it our best! Goku, I was created with the sole purpose of killing you. Do not forget this. Man, this guy's nothing but gloom and doom. It's time. Let us begin. I don't care who's first. As the world martial arts champion, naturally that would be me. That guy? He's dead meat. I say we let him go for it. If, uh, well, when he dies, we'll just bring him back with the Dragon Balls. Jeez, guess we're gonna have to. This is it, folks! The battle to protect the planet is finally underway! The Cell Games have begun! Yeah! Take this! And that! Oh, you're irritating. <laughs> Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan has been knocked out of the ring! He's lost the match! Well then, let's begin the Cell Games, shall we? M mr Satan lost? But 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 how? I, uh, I just lost my footing. I'm gonna take a break, uh, and then I'm gonna mess him up real good. He still doesn't have the slightest clue what he's dealing with. World champion, my ass. So, who's first? Well, I guess I'll go first if that's okay. Well, well. In the interest of transparency, I was hoping to save you for the end. Bring it! I can't wait to see what you can do!
<sighs> well, well. Look at you. I must say I'm rather impressed. I wasn't expecting to have this much fun. <sighs> you better eat one of those sensu beans, Goku. I'm having way too much fun to stop now. If we give Goku a sensu bean, and all of us team up on Cell, we can take him down. That's enough, Trunks! You don't have any pride as a Saiyan, do you? And you don't know him at all. He would rather die than beat his opponent in such a way. But if we just let this go on, he can do it. I'm certain of it. I hate to admit it, but no matter what I do, I couldn't go beyond Kakarot's level. He's some sort of genius. But even as powerful as he is, Cell is still one step ahead of him. So what are we supposed to do? He's got something planned, I can tell. Let's just find out what that is. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I don't want the fun to stop here. You win. I'm dropping out. I've got a good idea how strong you are now, so... I think I'm done now. What? What? He's forfeiting the match? What? What the hell is he thinking? Goku, you do know what you're saying, don't you? You do realize that once you've run out of people to fight me, every last person on the planet will have breathed that last breath. You got the wrong idea. You still have plenty of people to go up against. Can I choose who goes next? Would that be okay with you? Are you seriously going to forfeit? I got a feeling about this next match. It'll probably be the last one. If your next opponent can't beat you, then it's safe to say that nobody can. But just based on what I was able to learn while fighting you myself, I'm pretty confident this guy will have no trouble taking you down. What? Get it now? That's why I'm fine with dropping out of this thing. <laughs> All right, you've piqued my interest. Just who is this mythical fighter you won't stop going on about? The next one up to fight Cell is... All right, Gohan. You're up! Uh. What? Huh? What did he just say? Gohan, you ready? You... you want me to fight Cell? Goku, you're being completely ridiculous. If you couldn't handle Cell, then what makes you think Gohan can? Gohan's hiding way more power than any of us realize. It's downright unreal, you guys. He started tapping into that power while in the hyperbolic time chamber. I never could have imagined this. Here, you gotta check this out. So you know I've gotta ask, Gohan. Did you have any trouble keeping up with my fight with Cell earlier? Well, no, but... That's because you two weren't fighting at full power, right? I can't speak for Cell, but me? I was fighting at my full power. But it seemed like I was holding back to you. Am I right? <laughs> Gohan, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Do it, Gohan. You want to be a scholar, don't you? Then save the world, otherwise you'll never get the chance to become one. Uh, okay, I'll do what I can. So I'm going to fight Cell. Well, well, if it isn't Gohan. and reserved Gohan? How in the hell did that little brat increase his power by so much? I can't believe it! Hmm. It seems like your father wasn't bluffing about your power after all. But I'm afraid you still don't have what it takes to defeat me, Gohan. Ow! Ah! 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 Ah!
This is surprising. You're tougher than I thought you would be. P please please stop. I, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to kill anyone, even a bad guy like you. <laughs> you kill me. That is some kind of joke. Now I've heard everything. I was told that ever since I was a little kid, I'd release an unbelievable amount of power whenever I got angry. That's why my dad thinks I can beat you. He's probably banking on me getting angry. Do you really think that little bedtime story is going to scare me? If anything, it just makes me want to kill you by whatever means necessary. <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? Is it enough to make you cry? You don't want to die like this, do you, Gohan? Goku! Gohan needs help. I'm going in! Wait, Piccolo. We just need to wait for him to get angry enough. If we want to beat Cell, we need Gohan at his full power. And his anger's the key to everything here. That's where you're wrong, Goku. Can't you see Gohan isn't like you? He doesn't like fighting. Do you have any idea what he's thinking right now? He isn't angry at all. Gohan's over there wondering why his father isn't stepping in to save his life. It doesn't matter that he may very well be the most powerful fighter out of all of us. He's just a kid. Uh, Krillin, give me a sensu bean. Uh, okay. Ah! It's so stubborn. It seems your own pain isn't enough to push you over the edge. What's it gonna take, kid? I wonder. What about the pain of your friends and loved ones? W what are you gonna do? I'm ready to do whatever it takes to anger you and draw out that true power of yours. <laughs> My apologies for getting you involved. I will self-destruct and take Cell with me. Even you can't recover from a blast at this distance. <laughs> Why? Why did I not explode? Because you can't, 16? Well, you see, when he was repairing you at the Capsule Corporation, uh, Dr. Brief found a huge, uh, bomb inside of your body. He... he said it was too dangerous to leave in, so he removed it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, Android 16. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Wait, what are those things? 
Go forth, my little cell juniors. Make Goku and his friends suffer in pain. Watch out, guys. These things are scary strong. Be careful. You messed with the wrong guy! I didn't think things would end up like this. Stop it! I said stop it! Playtime's over, my little babies. Time to finish the job! Kill them! Kill them all! They're... they're all gonna die. If I'm really hiding a lot of power, and I want to unleash it! But... But how do 
do I get angry enough to tap into that power? What? What's going on? Things aren't looking too good. Perhaps... Perhaps we should fall back. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but before you retreat, please take me to the child over there. I... I beg you, please do it for the Earth. Are you crazy? You see who's right next to the kid, don't you? It's Sal! You, you, you want to help, do you not? I know you do. You are the world martial arts champion, after all. Oh, but Mr. Satan is the champion of the people, not monsters like, like you! All right, I'll do it! Don't do it, Mr. Satan! You'll be killed! Put a sock in! Uh, I don't know these guys, but they're giving it everything they got! A true champion can't just turn tail and run away! So, uh, I just need to get you close, right? Yes, thank you. Man, it's scary out here. You can throw me once you are close enough. Huh? You, you serious? Uh, here goes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, Android sixteen. Go on. It is not a sin to fight for what is right. Give in to your anger. Let it flow through you. There's no need to hold it in any longer. The plants and animals that I love. Please, protect them. I'm counting on you. You've prattled on long enough. You factory defect. to beat me now, don't you? Yeah! So, you're finished! 
<laughs> Awfully confident, aren't we? Then please, allow me to show you just how terrible my true power is. Is that all you've got? <laughs> for you now. This can't be! This is not gonna happen! What? What is he up to? Not good! One minute, I'm going to explode! If <laughs> I'm going down, then I'm taking you all with me! You and the entire planet! What? Well, did he just say he's going to explode? <laughs> I won't let you! You better watch it! Hit me and I explode! <laughs> Only 30 seconds left! No! No! What are we gonna do? We gotta do something! There's nothing we can do. We're done for. Just 10 seconds left! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this is the only option we've got left. I can't really think of any other way to save the Earth. Uh, Goku, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Later, you guys. <laughs> Go on. You did great. I'm so proud of you. D Dad! Tell your mom something for me. Tell her I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, King Kai! This was the only place I could think of to bring him! <laughs> Goku's energy is gone. <laughs> go on. Wait, where'd he go? Where's Cell? <laughs> it's over. You and your dad did it. 
Good work, Gohan. But... but... my dad! Your dad did what he did with a smile on his face. He was proud of how much you've grown. Come on. Go on, let's head... This power! It's... <laughs> it looks like I hit trunks. You're probably wondering why I'm still alive. Allow me to explain. I have a small mass inside of me. As long as that mass remains intact, my body can continue to regenerate. Once regenerated, I not only regain my perfect form, but my power also increases, not unlike Gohan's. This must be due in part to the Saiyan cells I possess and their impressive ability to increase one's strength and resilience with every near-death experience I have. I was also able to learn Goku's instant transmission, which, I suppose, makes me even more perfect than, well, perfect. You see, Goku thought he beat me, but instead, <laughs> he's only made me stronger. You're going to pay for what you did to Trunks! Hmm? You're dead! No! Vegeta! You're as good as dead! So much for the Prince of Saiyans. You're next, Gohan.
Sentinels increased his power more than I imagined. This little game ends here. was incredible, Gohan! You did it! I can't believe it! Cell's gone! We're saved! Well, we don't have any sensu beans, but Dende will fix them up in no time! Let's get him to Dende! All right, let's go! Hey, Vegeta, you need a hand? I don't need your help, understand? You better stay away from me! <laughs> Fine. That's it. Kakarot and his kid are finally out of reach. Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you die on me and in such a pathetic way! I'm... 
I'm done fighting. <laughs> what the? What are those guys? Mr. Satan! What? Where is Cell? Huh? Uh, uh, Cell? Uh, well, uh, uh, he's... Uh, uh, he's gone! Uh, yeah, uh, I beat him! What? Well, those freaks are just uh, prancing around with their flashy magic tricks! So I told them, uh, enough was enough, uh, you know, and uh, I went in there and uh, I showed Cell who's boss. Oh, but where are the others? Uh, they uh, <laughs> thanked me and, uh, and they went home. It Incredible! So, so you mean the Earth has been saved from Cell's reign of terror? Well, that's right! <laughs> You heard it here first, folks! Earth! Earth has been saved! And it's all thanks to our hero, Mr. Satan! It's okay. You're at Kami's lookout. It's over. Gohan took care of Perfect Cell. Everything's gonna be all right. Gohan? Yeah. He was unbelievably strong. Even you wouldn't be able to touch him. You owe Krillin your thanks. He risked his life to save you once Cell spit you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I... Uh, I couldn't have just left you there. Oh, I think I get it! You like her, don't you, Krillin? You like 18! Don't blurt it out like that! Huh. <laughs> so what, little man? You want me to hold your hand or something? Is that what you want? What's your problem? Is there any way to treat the guy that saved your life? Huh? Calm down, Yamcha. We need to focus. We have to get all the Dragon Balls and use them to revive Trunks and everyone else who was killed. Uh, right. Uh... Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Oh. Uh, what is that? Uh, please bring back all the people who were killed by Cell! <laughs> Consider it done. Uh, 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 where am I? Interesting. Still can't sense Goku's energy. State your second wish. Wait, wait! Can't you bring back Goku? I'm afraid not. Goku has already been brought back from the dead once before. State another wish. Well, there you go. He can't do it. No. There's got to be a way. We can figure this out. Hey, guys. It's me, Goku. Goku? I'm talking to you from Otherworld. Listen up. So, I was talking to Bulma earlier, and she mentioned the fact that I've always got all these bad guys coming after me. And when you really think about it, it sucks how right she is. All that's to say, 
I think it's probably better for the Earth if I just stay here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make a heroic sacrifice or anything. I'm actually getting some special treatment here because I saved the Earth so many times. Normally when you die, you turn into a spirit. But I'm getting to keep my body. Plus, I've got plenty of super strong people from the past to keep me entertained. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is cool. That doesn't mean I don't feel marginally bad for Chi-Chi and Gohan, but you guys don't need to bring me back. Gohan's already way stronger than me now anyway, so you'll be fine. Uh, Dad, that's not true. Gotta go. Bye! Okay, and make sure to look me up or whatever when you die. Bye-bye! Uh... You know, if you ask me, he seemed awfully happy and upbeat, for a dead guy. I grow tired of waiting. State your second wish. Do you not have a wish? Uh, that's right! So what should we do? Are we going to wish for something? Shinron, can you make Android 17 and 18 human again? That cannot do. The androids are far beyond the reach of my power. Uh, well, I guess it was kind of a long shot. Why Android 17? I thought he was dead. No. He was just brought back with the others killed by Cell, so he's alive now. Well, then can you at least remove the explosive devices that they have implanted in their bodies? That I can do. There. The devices have been removed from their bodies. Farewell. Krillin, why would you wish for something like that? Well, I felt bad for them, you know? I mean, who wants a bomb inside their body? But why remove the device from Seventeen's body, too? Well, uh, I thought Seventeen and Eighteen might be good for each other. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. This whole love thing. You idiot! Uh? Seventeen and I are brother and sister. I told you to leave me alone. And don't think I'm going to thank you for removing the bomb. Ever. Later. Hey! She said later. Maybe that means she wants to see you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'd be a lot happier... Uh, I guess, if it weren't for the fact that Goku's not here. Well, I think I'm going to head back. Chaozu's probably worried about me. Right. I'm gonna get going, too. So, Trunks, when are you heading back to the future? I think I'll stay one more night and get some rest before leaving tomorrow. All right. We'll see you off tomorrow, then. Mr. Piccolo, are you gonna stay here now? Yeah, that's the plan. Would it be okay if I visited you every now and then? Of course. Bye, Mr. Popo. Bye, Dende. Stop by whenever you want.
My father? Oh, yeah. Trust me. He was pretty upset when you were killed. He flipped out and went all berserk on Cell. Wow. My father? He did that? I'm off. Goodbye, Trunks! Good luck in your future! Go on. Thanks. I'll do my best. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a safe trip back! Take it easy! Later! Gohan, how long do you intend to keep that look? Since Dad died, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trust me, Mom, I have my reasons. Well, suit yourself. But for the record, I much prefer your normal look to this gaudy Super Saiyan business. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you'll get bigger with each passing day. And you look more like your father, too. Y you think so? Your fashion choices are yours to make, provided you keep up with your studies. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm not sure where to start. Maybe Piccolo can give me some good advice. Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So... What should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself, too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. 
I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger. So something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat. Huh? B but I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. Powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I, I need to do some serious soul searching. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. <laughs> 